What do you do with your coursework if you start out with the wrong canvas size and the wrong resolution? Now, the coursework I'm running at the moment requires an A4 sheet done at 300 pixels per inch PPI. If you've got that wrong to the start, then you're going to get bad results. Now, to show you, I've got this image from Flickr, and this is a Creative Commons image with reference in the description of this video. I've downloaded it, and the so images I'll be using to show you are the small one at 240 by 160 and the original at 1200 by 800. So bear this in mind. Now, if we arrange them on a sheet and look at the A5 one at 50 ppi, which is the wrong size, you get this looking pixelated, not very nice. The same images downloaded on an A4 sheet at 300 ppi it's much crisper, much better. So the impact of having the right size and the right resolution is massive. So let's assume that you've made a mistake and you need to fix this. So for reference, we've got the original here and one here which we're gonna try and fix. So what we've got to do is change the size. So file, image, size. Right. We need to increase the resolution for start. 50 ppi is far too low. So we're going to whack it up to 300. The size is just wrong. Now for A4, the height needs to be 297 centimeters. Um, sorry, millimeters. So let's put this on to millimeters and 297. And it keeps us 110 wide. That's close enough for what we need to do. So we've changed the dimensions. We've constrained the properties, which is there, very important. Just means that as one actually changes, the other one changes the same amount. And resolution at 300. One last thing to do is the bicubic. We want to choose bicubic smoother, which is the best for enlargement. Bear in mind, this is Adobe CS6, and there's a better option in Adobe CC, which says um, preserve details. If you're using CC, choose the option, but if you're using CS6 and below, best for enlargement, smoother. So click OK, and straight away it zoomed us in. We've got more pixels, more information, so the same amount of zoom takes up more space. So view, fit on screen. So if we go back to the original here, and we zoom in, let's say to her face, we haven't got to go very far before we see pixelation all over the place. Then we look at here, the upsampled one, we zoom in to the same amount of face, we've got much better detail. You can really see the difference there. Now, the thing to remember is that when you save things in Photoshop, Photoshop does throw pixels away. Um, so just be careful what you're doing. But we can see straight away, massive improvement. If you compare that to the original, so there we are, that's her face you really can see that the um, upscaling has made a big difference. Now let's have a look at the small one. Okay, this is the upscaled version. Now, this is really night and day. So look at her face, so pixelated on the small one. And here we are, that's the same small one. We'll zoom in a bit further. It's not anywhere near as pixelated. It's not a good quality image, it's not great, but you see that by upscaling, by going file, sorry, image, image size, maintenance properties, you get a much better quality image. However, I will stress, always make sure with the coursework or any work you're doing to get the canvas size right the first time and get the, cam the image size the best possible. Don't go for the smallest image, go for the best quality possible, which is whatever the highest resolution is. If your image is looking pixelated and blocky, it, looked, it will look that way and then going to the end. So always do your best.